and we're just going to pipe it up. So we're going to take our cookies and just press down just a bit. So we're going to take some caramel we have in a piping bag. We're just going to do a spiral effect right on top of our cookie, just like that. And after, we're going to take our sandwich. We're just going to go right down in our peanut. Guys, look at that. Guys, look how yummy that looks. We're going to place our cookies there. And we're going to dip this, dip it into some melted milk chocolate. Look at that, guys. So, guys, we're going to finish placing our peanuts right on top. Oh, they look so yummy. Now we're gonna take our Jack Daniels. Who doesn't love whiskey, guys? Today, we're using some Jack Daniels. We're gonna do something really cool, a DIY infusion. We have some peanuts that have been salted and roasted, and we're just going to place it on some parchment paper and take it and just put it right inside. Just like that. Finish putting all of our peanuts into our bottle. And then we're gonna give it a good okie doke then we're gonna take some melted milk chocolate and we're just going to start to pipe around our glasses. So we're just gonna place our peanuts on our chocolate drip, just like that. Placing our last peanut just right there. Then we're gonna take some ice and put it into our shaker. After, we're gonna take our Jack Daniels. We've already had one prepared and sitting for a week infused and we're just going to pour right in that was for a good time and then we're going to take some espresso take our lid we're going to give it a shake perfect we're going to take off the lid we're just going to pour it right in oh look at that color guys chicken cocktail right in our beautiful glass so i have some fresh whipped cream here I'm just going to pipe that right there. And then we're going to sprinkle on some chopped peanuts and magnificent shaken cocktails and our yummy. We're just going to start rolling this up. You might have seen it with sprinkles before, but we're doing it for our Snickers bars. So carefully place this cake back down. Look how cool this is about to be gonna remove all this plastic to get our nice bricks or our stones for our fire pit then taking our Mars bars Mars bars that's fun to say just place these all along the top So we're just doing two layers or rings of our Mars bars and our crushed Oreos go right into the center. So this is where the start of our little fire pit's gonna go. So the base of our fire pit is finished and we're gonna move on. So we're gonna be starting on our chocolate trees now. So I have melted white chocolate with green coloring. And so what you do, you start at the top and just kind of do squiggle diagonal motions getting larger every time like you're making a pine tree and then you go back on the other side and repeat and make sure the chocolate covers the pretzel so when you lift this up you will have the leaves on it i'm going to go back on the other side just for an extra layer so i have three different colors that will be in our little forest this one's more like a sage green i think this color is really pretty so just do these back and forth movements making sure to cover the pretzel and if you don't have little pretzel sticks, you can use skewers, but I thought it would be really yummy to have a chocolate covered pretzel that looks like a little Christmas tree. So you do two layers and our final color, which is closest to a pine color. Now we're going to make the flames for our fire. So using the same chocolate, just different coloring to make flame shapes. And just kind of spread it around. You don't want the flames to be too thick. So once you get a little bit in the center of your lines, so then our orange flames. Ooh, this one's nice. Now back to our trees. So I let our trees sit for a few seconds until the chocolate completely hardened. These look awesome. 
I love making them with the pretzels instead. So back to our flames to add a little more detail. We're gonna take this fork. Ooh, that looks really cool, okay. So then we're just gonna squiggle going up like it's a fire that's burning. You wanna make sure the chocolate's not too soft still. This is perfect. We got a little bit of yellow on here, but that's okay. It's gonna add a little color depth into our orange ones. So now I'm gonna take our nice colorful flames and we're going to move on. So now we're going to decorate our fire pit cake, starting off with our beautiful pine trees. So we're just going to stick in our background and go with a different color. So we're just putting these in between our little Mars bars. Got this little pine tree we're gonna add. Right, oop, branches falling off. That's okay, that happens. Now we're gonna start our little fire, get that going. Start off with this nice, vibrant yellow flame right in the center. Here's our last flame going in the center of our fire pit. We're gonna take our giant marshmallows and move on to our cocktail. Putting on our cocktail, so I have these huge marshmallows and you're gonna take your fork. So once your marshmallows on your fork, I've got this torch that we're going to very carefully start by torching the bottom, just going in a circular motion without getting too close to the flame. So we want a nice golden brown marshmallow. Nobody wants a burnt marshmallow. Those are so you keep your marshmallow moving, making sure it doesn't catch on fire. And we have this nice golden brown and delicious marshmallow and watch how cool this is. So the inside is nice and toasty. We're gonna take out our fluff from the inside. Our cocktail is going into here. So to make sure it doesn't leak out, we've got our dark chocolate. I'm gonna take a nice little blob with a food safe paintbrush. Start painting the inside, just in case there are any little holes in it so nothing will spill out. Melted chocolate, crispy, golden delicious marshmallow. What more could you want? So the inside is brushed and I'm taking our chocolate liqueur. We're just gonna fill up our little marshmallow. Oh, that looks so good. I've made some homemade whipped cream and we are just going to do little rosettes, which is just going in a counterclockwise motion. And I've got our other ones. So here are our five marshmallow shots. So I have our s'more shots right here. And we're gonna finish off our campfire with place it onto my waffle iron. Now we're going to flip it over, place it onto our plate. And I'm going to come with my milk chocolate. I'm just going to start by pulling that over. We're going to take some caramel sauce. And we're going to finish that with some chopped peanuts. Back with our chocolate. With the ice cube, you can see that it's already starting to set. And lift that up. Now we're just gonna carefully detach our chocolate. Place sit on our plate. I'll take my bottle. Bottle here, and I've cut it into two parts. We're gonna bring that over here. I'm gonna pour some milk chocolate inside. And now we're just going to turn our bottle like this. You wanna get it evenly coated on the inside. Just turn it so it doesn't run out completely. There we go. We're gonna come over here with the extra chocolate. We'll pour it onto our plate. I'll place this in the glass. And we'll take the bottom of our bottle. We're gonna press that into our chocolate. And we're gonna leave that to set. Our chocolate has set, and we're gonna take our lid, we'll set that here. We'll come over to the top of our bottle. We're gonna unscrew the lid, and we're just gonna press up, and our chocolate bottle comes up like this. We're gonna come over here, have some melted white chocolate. I'm gonna dip that in, and we're gonna come over here and dip that into our peanuts. Get all of our peanuts on there. Now I'm gonna come over here, just the bottom of my pot, and we're just going to melt Chocolate. And we're going to come place this onto the base. 
And we're gonna press that, press that on. I'm gonna grab our ice cream, cream that we made earlier. It's had time to freeze, place that in there. I made my own pastry tip using the top of our bottle. Just cut out the end. We're gonna use that to pipe out whipped cream. We're gonna add some of our chocolate. Place right here in the top. A little extra caramel sauce. Nice caramel drizzle to top off our Snickers sundae. You can find all the information about this recipe on chefclub.tv. Let us know in the comments what you think.